Hey everyone, AcidRain64 here, and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. In the last part, we got a crap ton of stuff done. Um, the last thing we did was we got the Ether Medallion here, and in this part, uh, we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the collectibles we can get between now and the next dungeon. And the first thing we want to get is uh, we're going to go ahead and warp to Kikiriko Village. Um, there's actually a uh, a heart piece we can get that we could have got fairly early on in the game, but for some reason the guide is telling me to get it now, so we might as well get it while the guide says to. And I'm getting some weird lag, like I don't know what it is, but I don't I don't think it's anything game breaking. At least I hope not. And I don't think it's going to be anything worth stopping the recording over. But we shall see. Um, okay, yeah, so we want to head over here, and there's a, a tree that looks really weird. Um, yeah, it's right here. Um, I think after you... If you come here before you finish the... The, uh... The Agnihim battle, there will actually be two lumberjacks sitting here cutting down this tree. And you can actually, um... After you go to the Dark World for the first time, you can come back here and dash into the tree and they've kind of built like a hole or something. So now we can come in here and there is a fairy's fountain, which is great because I needed to stock up on fairies anyway. But that's not the most important thing that's here actually, believe it or not. Okay, there's actually this area in here and we get ourselves another heart piece. Sweet. Alright, so now we got that. And we're just... I, I'm really flying through this this section of the game. Um, like that heart piece I got in the last part, I was really, really, really happy that I actually got that my first time. Because that, that took up about a half hour of recording um, during my first Let's Play of it. And I just got... I got f so frustrated with it. But I got it. Like, I got extremely lucky um, in this recording of it. Oh my gosh! And that that saved me a lot of time. And uh, getting through that last dungeon really quickly saved me a lot of time. And you know, it's just it's something I'm really happy about. Okay, so what we need to do is actually head to the Dark World version of um, where the witch's house is. Um, unfortunately, we need to get back to the Dark World. Um, well, that's not the unfortunate part, but the unfortunate part is that we gotta find or get ourselves back into the Dark World. Um, and unfortunately, we have to go to Hyrule Castle to actually get back there. So I'm gonna go ahead and show what I tried to explain in the last part, but kind of failed at. Or I think it was uh, either the last part or the part before that. But pretty much you come back to Hyrule Castle, and there's this little drawbridge gate thing here, whatever you want to call it, and that automatically teleports you back to the Dark World. And so that's kind of your fail safe if you happen to um, lose your portal or you make it in an area that you can't um, go anywhere with, such as uh, Death Mountain where um, the current portal was. Alright, but what we want to do is come up here, and you can actually, I believe, come up this way um, before you go to the first dungeon, but um, it's not a big deal to come and take care of this now. But I believe it's actually further on. And you can swim in the water here. You don't have to get, like, Zora's Flippers 3. Um, all you have to do is jump in the water, and you can swim again. Um, uh, we don't want to talk to you. We're actually going to start buying potions pretty soon, which will um, eliminate the use of fairies, pretty much. Uh, hold on. Let's see. Man, that beeping is getting really annoying. Okay, I'm going to use a fairy. Come on. Okay. Ah, we can come up this way. I was actually getting a little worried. But it all turned out good. Nope. Okay. Whoop. I just screwed myself right there. Actually, where does this lead? Uh, okay, yeah, we do have to actually go that way. Okay. Oh man, even the Zoras have changed. Now they're friggin' Cyclopses. It's 
that's really weird. Okay. So that, that wasn't a big deal. Um, it did take up a little bit of time, but that is okay. Time is not really something I have to worry about all that much. Yeah, I'm actually recording this uh, at, I think it's it's only about 11. And usually, the way my sleep schedule's been is I'll, I've been waking up around this time, or around noon, but I've been up since 8 o'clock, and I've been really busy today. Like, I've already did my morning routine. Um, I, I kind of cleaned up my, uh, my family's kitchen, cleaned up my room, got a part uploading right now, I think. I think it's still uploading. Um, mowed the yard, and now I'm recording this. And actually, the past two parts. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the, the amount of stuff I've done today. Makes me feel good. Okay, but what we need to do is throw something into here, and it doesn't have to be a skull. It could be that sign. It could be that bush. And then this fish pops up. And he says, Was it you who disturbed my peaceful nap? I will give this to you if you go away. And we get ourselves the Quake Medallion. It, its magic causes the ground to shake and defeats nearby enemies. Watch your magic meter. So we, are, we already have two of the three medallions, and we're actually going to get the other one. Uh, right now, pretty much. <laughs> I know, that's that's wonderful. Um, so now let's go ahead and warp back to the light world real quick. And then we're going to grab another heart piece. Now we actually, I believe, can't warp to where we need to go um, yet. Uh, but we can actually get pretty close to it. Yeah, we want to go right here. Um... Now, there's actually an island in the middle of Lake Hylia that we haven't really been to yet. Actually, wait, let me let me make sure that's what I'm thinking of. Um, okay, there's here, the Wishing Well, and then there's this island here, yep. So what we need to do to actually get there, and I'm actually thinking about upgrading my stuff now, because I could probably do a little bit of that. Actually, I'll do that off-screen. How about that? I'll do that off-screen. So between now and the next part, you will see that I have um, upgraded a, a lot. Oh, wait. What? I can't... Um, wait. Maybe I can't get this yet. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try something, and I will be right back. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Uh, I believe you actually have to go this way, but what I was thinking is that you couldn't come this way in the Dark World to get to um, the Dark Lake Hylia. I was thinking you had to use a warp that um, is actually in the Dark World version. or It's actually in the Light World. It's under that black stone I tried to lift up. But unfortunately, we can't lift that at the moment. So... Um, yeah, I was thinking that you had to do that to get this heart piece, but I believe that's not true. Um, but if we come over here to this little island, you can actually use your magic mirror. And we appear right here where this heart piece is. And we got ourselves another heart container. And that was pretty perfect, too, because I was running really low on health. Okay, so now that we're back in the light world... Um... We want to go to... Uh, okay, I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. Okay, I think... I know there's a, there's a warp here that you can actually use. Um, let's see. Yeah, th there's actually... Uh, I think there's a warp we can access here to the Dark World. Um, I think you just have to have the magic hammer for it. Yes, you do. Because it's right over here. And if we lift up this stone, we can go to the Dark World. And conveniently enough, this actually puts us really close to the next dungeon. Um, but what we want to get first is the final medallion. Or what I think is the final medallion. 
but um, what we want to do is start heading towards the dark desert. Um, oh, this, and that's actually not the way. Those freaking bombers were getting kind of annoying. Let's see what this says. Swamp of Evil, no entrance, no escape. Yeah, and we'll see what that means here in a minute. Um, yeah. See, this place has changed too. That guy is no longer here. That fairy fountain that was here is gone. So, let's see. Um, what's here? I think this is... Yes, it is, right here. Okay. No, I actually went the right way. So, hold up the Master Sword and you'll get the magic of Bombos. Alright. And I believe that's all three medallions, too. You got the Bombos medallion. Its magic makes the ground explode with power. Watch your magic meter. Yep, that's all three of the, the magic medallions. And so now that we've got those, we're actually ready to head into the next dungeon. But, um... Between now and when I record next time, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the uh, the bombs and arrows as much as I can. Probably 600 rupees worth, because I still want to have at least 100 rupees in case I need them for something. Um, but this is actually the entrance to the next dungeon, but uh, we actually can't go right in it and do anything yet. But we will go ahead and see why that is in the next part. And this pumpkin guy... Oops. Okay, then hopefully that pumpkin guy won't come back here. Because those things will actually, they can eat your shield, which isn't very good. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and thank you guys for watching this. Before that, though, let me just say that um, in the next part, we're going to go ahead and clear out this next dungeon. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And next time... And let's play Legends of Zelda Link to the Past. We do the next dungeon. So I'm gonna, I'll see you guys then. I can't do outros.